Wham bam, let's do this. Kim Tashima Newberry here for a long overdue video. It has been a while, like literally years, but I can't tell you guys how stoked I am to be back. I missed you guys. I missed my channel. My channel has just been sitting around collecting dust. So it's time to blow that dust off. So let's get into it. So to kick things off, I'm going to do things a little bit differently today than I've done in the past. A lot of you women have reached out asking me about the gear that I use during my races. So today that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick gear rundown of the things that I use during the Wham 110K race. And if you're not familiar with the Wham race series, also known as Whistler Alpine Meadows, it is a beautiful course, super challenging, put on by the one and only Gary Robbins in my home province, BC. Put this one on your list, you guys. It is pretty amazing. And it's also one of those races that you have to pack all sorts of gear for. I mean, basically I packed for all four seasons. Plus on top of that, they did have a required gear list. And if you want more information on the gear that I talk about today, or if you want to snag it for yourself, I will put links in the description below. The links are of course, affiliate links. They cost you nothing, but they do help to support the channel. Use them or not, totally up to you. And without further ado, let's dive in. So for the gear rundown, I'm going to start from the head to the toes, and then we'll finish with all the rando bits and pieces at the end. And first up is the Tiger Claw Trucker Hat. I love this hat. I obviously have a personal connection to this hat. It brings me joy. For a trucker, it um, isn't overwhelmingly large or bulky. It actually fits my head pretty good. And I just love this thing. Simple as that. And up next is a Ginger Runner Wrap. I kept several of these either on myself in my pack or in my drop bags for later. When I started the race, I started with one around my neck because it was a little chillier. And I also kept one around my wrist as well. These things work great for hot weather, cold weather, and everything in between. Super versatile, easy to pack with you, works for a lot of different things. I just love this thing. And I wore one of my very favorite sports bras. This is the Wazelle Ballard bra. I have this in multiple colors. It is my favorite go-to. The material is super soft, it doesn't chafe, and it has enough support for me. I mean, let's be honest, I don't need a lot of support, but it has plenty. And for a top, I went with the Rabbit Easy Tee Heathered Long Sleeve. This material is one of my all-time favorites. Super smooth, super buttery. It's warm and cozy without being overly hot. It breathes and wicks sweat like a dream. And for bottoms, I went with Rabbit again and their Catch Me If You Can shorts. These are another staple in my wardrobe. I think I have three or four pairs of these guys. The material is super soft, it's lightweight, it's quick drying. And while they are kind of short shorts, that two and a half inch inseam, they do have enough coverage in the back. So they are by no means bun huggers. And for socks, I went with the Injinji Women's Ultra Run Crew socks. If you followed me for a while, you know that I am a big fan of these toe socks. I wear them all the time. These ones in particular, I love because they're kind of cushy, which makes the feet feel super comfortable without feeling hot. And I like the extra coverage in the crew length socks to help prevent rocks from going inside between the sock and the foot. These were great. And for shoes, I went with the Hoka Speedgoat 3s. I love these shoes. This is my second pair of the same version of this shoe. The Vibram outsole on these I felt was grippy enough to handle the type of terrain I was going to encounter during Wham. The mud, the rocks, the technical descents, I felt like these were going to do a really, really good job. I also love how cushioned these feel. I felt super confident that I was going to be able to stay in the same pair of shoes for the entire day and night. And since we are on the topic of shoes and socks, full disclosure, I did get a blister during Wham. Typically, I am good to go with this shoe sock combo, so I'm not really sure what happened. I don't know if it was a piece of rock or dirt that got inside my sock or what happened, but generally, I am good to go. And that wraps up most of the clothing that I wore during Wham, so let's move on to accessories. And up first is the Outdoor Research Melody Sensor Gloves. I personally get very, very cold hands very, very easily. I love these gloves because the material is super cozy, super warm, but fairly lightweight as well. Don't let the fact that these look like little dainty lady driving gloves fool you. These things actually kept my hands very, very warm. And another feature that I love about them is they have a little bit of an elastic around the wrist, which makes it super easy to pull them on and off even while you're running. Poles. For this race, I use the Black Diamond Carbon Z Poles. 
I have had these poles for years, have never had a problem with them. They are lightweight, they work. There's not much else to say about them, they're poles. And now to talk about my favorite part of trail running, the snacks. For fueling, I use primarily the spring energy gels, in particular, the Canterbury flavor. It is delicious, I would eat it on ice cream. Not only is it super yummy, but the ingredients are really good as well. And I've had a lot of struggles over the years with bad stomach symptoms happening with different nutrition. And these have tended to work for me really, really well. I also use their electrolyte drink throughout the day as well. And to haul all that gear and those delicious snacks around, I use the Solomon Advanced Skin 12 Pack. And I know what you're probably thinking. If you're a regular follower of mine, you know that I usually wear Nathan packs. I do love my Nathan packs, but for this particular race, there was a lot of gear that I needed to haul around, plus mandatory gear that I needed to pack. In addition to that, I also needed to be able to carry a lot of water, a lot of food, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this particular pack worked a little bit better to accommodate all the stuff that I needed to haul around with me. And for hydration purposes, I use the two liter Nathan bladder in this pack, as well as a Solomon soft glass for my electrolyte drink. And for my light source, I use the Ultra Aspire Lumen 600 3.0 belt light. And I will admit, I was a little skeptical just using a belt light, but I practiced with this a few times during training runs to compare it to my headlamp, used it with my headlamp to see what was the best option for me. And I actually really, really love the belt light. The burn time on this one here is anywhere from four to 10 hours, depending on how you're using it. I found using it on the medium setting was more than enough light for me. And I didn't even end up using my headlamp at all. This thing came in very handy for the very early, very, very early 4 a.m. Wham 110K start in the dark. And to keep track of time and to tell me when to eat those delicious snacks, I use the Koros Apex 46 millimeter watch. This thing is light and comfortable, sits really well on even my small wrists. And the big, big kicker on this is the long life battery. I didn't have to worry about recharging my watches as I have in the past. This thing worked great. And that's about it for most of my main gear that I used for the race. I did mention earlier that there was a mandatory gear list that we had to pack around with us all day. So I just want to do a very, very quick rundown of that as well. So we were required to carry a headlamp with us at all times. So I carried the Nathan Neutron Fire Headlamp, which is super tiny, as you can see, it just fits into the pack. Didn't really notice the extra weight at all. We we're also required to carry an emergency bivy with us at all times. This one here is super tiny and compact, as you can see, worked great. And a toque or a beanie, whatever you want to call it. I use this North Face one here, an extra long sleeve shirt. So I brought the Wazelle Flyout Wool Shirt. We we're also required to carry a pair of pants with us. So I opted for the Outdoor Research Waterproof Helium Pants and a waterproof hooded jacket. Again, Outdoor Research Helium Jacket. Also as part of my kit, I had a pair of REI Gore-Tex gloves, which were waterproof and windproof. These work so great over the little gloves that I had earlier or a pair of fleece gloves. I love these things. They have saved my life. And the final item on our mandatory kit, which I don't have with me right now, is a whistle, which is of course attached to the front of my Solomon pack. And to finish off this video, a couple bonus items. First off is a squirrel's nut butter. It's lube, y'all. I love using this on the bottoms of my feet. I used to have a lot of problems with blisters before, but this works like a charm. And to keep me stink free, I like to use the native deodorant. It's paraben and aluminum free. It comes in tons of yummy scents. And even though it wasn't the dead of the summer and I knew it was likely gonna be overcast, sunscreen. Super Goop Everyday Sunscreen, 50 SPF. I wear it all the time, even when it's cloudy, rainy, whatever. Protect your skin, you guys, just do it. And that is it. And just a reminder, that was just a quick rundown of the gear that I used for Wham. Keep your eyes peeled on this channel in the future. I'll be doing some reviews on some of the products that I mentioned today. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, and pet a dog. Leave me a comment below. I will do my very best to get back to each and every one of you guys if you have questions, comments, whatever. Let's get that conversation rolling. Once more, thank you guys again. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for tuning in again. I really, really appreciate you guys all. And I can't stress how excited I am to be back, to have my channel back. Tune in for more videos. Thank you guys. Goodbye.